हे हेलो वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ माय चैनल आई एम किशन लॉय होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल सो गेट 2023 रिजल्ट इज अप एंड कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन टू ऑल ऑफ द टॉपर्स हु हैड मेक इट टू द टॉप रैंक्स एंड हु हैव डन रियली वेल इन द गेट एग्जाम सो फाइनली देयर ड्रीम हैज बीन फुलफिल्ड बट दिस वीडियो इज नॉट फॉर देम दिस इज अ वेरी स्पेशल वीडियो एंड दिस इज वेरी क्लोज टू माई हार्ट बिकॉज दिस वीडियो इफ यू आर वॉचिंग राइट नाउ आफ्टर Uh, looking into the thumbnail, probably you haven't done well in the gate exam. Probably you are so-called failed in the gate exam where you didn't get the rank that you are desired for. And this video is for you because I know how you are feeling now, how frustrating, disappointing this is. Uh, because you know I understand this unpredictability and uncertainty of gate exam. Many of you has given your everything uh, for gate 2023 preparation. i know many people you know they have quitted their job for gate preparation there will be many students in the final year uh, you know who haven't appeared for the placement and prepare full in their fourth year uh, for gate preparation and after doing so much if you if you couldn't make it to the top 500 or top 1000 rank uh, then it's very frustrating and very disappointing so i know and i know there are many students like this that will be there because there are very few percentage of students who can make it to top 500 or 1000 and rest all are kind of the people who are not getting something from this gate exam so i will be giving some perspective and positivity in this video and i will explain that why failing in a gate exam is not the end of the road and how you can come back or bounce back uh, from it and what are the things that you should do now how you should look into your future everything i'm going to discuss in this video so if you want to know everything please uh, do watch the video till end so without further ado let's get started into today's video let me start by sharing my own story i failed in the gate exam 3 times and on the fourth attempt i was able to crack it in 2014 2015 and 2016 i didn't get the rank that i was looking for from the gate exam and on the final attempt in 2017 I cracked gate with all India rank 37. So my dream was to do MTech either from IIT or IIT Bombay, and that's why I was looking for a rank within all India rank 100. But I was not able to do it for my first three attempts. The first time I appeared for gate was in 2014, and that time that year IIT Kharagpur set the question paper. It was really really very tough, and I I scored around 30 marks, and my rank was around 6000. I was not that involved with that exam because that time I was uh, working in TCS and my preparation was also not that good in 2014. So that rank, uh, that failure didn't affect me that much. But the next year in 2015, I worked really hard and I was really looking for get into in this top hundred uh, rank. But in 2015, my rank was 800. And I got around 52 or 53 marks, and I have done a lot of silly mistakes in that exam. Again, I prepared uh, for gate exam for 2016. I appeared for 2016, and this time I quit the job uh, few months before the gate exam, so that final few months I can prepare fully for the gate exam. And this year, I was really hoping for getting into top 100, but my rank was 549 in 2016. this two year i was i was really looking uh, forward to get a very good gate rank and go into ias or iit bombay for my mtech but i was not able to do it If these two years the failure really affected me i was devastated uh, because you know when you when you do a lot of hard work to get into those dream rank and if you can't make it uh, on the final day it feels like uh, you know all the all the effort that you have done for a one year on your one year span all has gone uh, into a stage or into fail so that's why i told in the in in, in beginning only that i can understand how you are feeling now you know how disappointing how frustrating how sad you are currently uh, because you have done so much for gate 2023 but you are not able to do it on the final day but when i look back you know those 3 years when i failed to uh, crack the gate exam i feel like i have learned some valuable lessons of life from those 3 years of failure which i wouldn't have learned otherwise and those lessons are importance of perseverance hard work resilience and never give up attitude so when i started preparing for gate 2017 i was so focused that the only thing i want to achieve in life was to have a rank within top 100 in gate 2017 i almost disconnected myself from all the social media platform from the outer world 
I locked myself in a room and I started preparing for GATE from the very basic once again for next year GATE that is GATE 2017. And I, I started following very strict routine for next uh, few months and I followed that for around six to seven months uh, for my preparation for GATE 2017. And finally, I was able to crack it in 2017 with All India Rank 37. And believe me, the joy was out of the world. As they say, the more the struggle, the sweeter the uh, result is. So the similar thing happened with me. The result uh, I got after so many felt attempts gave me immense pleasure and also a confidence that, you know, if I work hard for a longer period of time, eventually I'll be successful of getting something that I am desired for. So this is all the lesson that I have learned, the importance of hard work, uh, you know, perseverance and never give up spirit. These three things I have learned from those uh, failed attempt and finally able to achieve it in GATE 2017. So that's why I'm saying that, you know, it's okay to be frustrated, it's okay to be depressed now if, uh, if you haven't done OL in GATE 2023. 20, uh, Don't take this failure as your final destiny. This is not the end of the world or end of the road. Failure is a part of life. Whenever you try something new out of your comfort zone, you might fail uh, in, in your first attempt, but that is not the end. Uh, the important thing is not that you have failed uh, in your attempt. The important thing is that you have tried something new out of your comfort zone. And obviously, I am pretty sure that during this preparation, you have learned something at least which will help you in your in your in your future time. So that's why you know don't don't give up or don't take this failure too hard. Obviously, there might be some mistakes that you have done. There might be some flaws in your preparation that you can you can work work out and you can improve. But never ever give up uh, just by looking into this failure. Now let's talk about what are the options that is left for you after failing in GATE 2023, and what are the things that you can do now uh, for your future plan. Now, first thing I'll tell here is that here your self assessment is more important. I will give you some suggestions based on some situation, but you have to decide based on your situation what you have to do and based on that you have to take a call. So first of all, if you are appearing for gate for quite some time and you are not able to crack it and even your rank is also not improving, then this is the best time to quit for a gate exam. It might happen that you are not technically that good uh, to do well in this particular exam. And it's okay. I mean, you, you have to accept it and you have to move on from this exam and you have to try out your career in some other direction, maybe some other exam uh, you can you can crack easily. So you have to try out that options and based on that you have to choose your career path. The second case is, so suppose uh, you are a final year student or you have just graduated last year and this was your first attempt and you are not able to, uh, you know, do well in the gate exam. So there can be two uh, two cases. So first of all, maybe uh, you, have, you have got a rank around 1500 or 2000. That means you have prepared really well for the gate 2023, but due to some, some reason, you didn't perform well in your, uh, you know, in your final day. In that case, uh, if your financial situation is not that not that bad, you can take the you know liberty of taking one more more year drop and prepare for gate 2023. Please remember, if your financial situation is uh, well, if you have a financial backup from your family, but if your financial situation is not good, even if you have a very good weight preparation, I would recommend you that take a job uh, so that you know you can support your family also and then start preparing for gate exam parallelly. So that will be a uh, better plan for you. So whatever the situation may be, whether you take a job or not, you should start, you know, you should keep on preparing for next year gate. And I feel that as your rank is around 1500 to 2000, if you prepare one more year uh, with job or without job also, you will be having a very good, uh, you know, gate rank uh, next year. Now the third case is uh, if you are a final year student or if you have just graduated from uh, from college but you are not doing well in the gate exam suppose your rank is beyond 3000 4000 or 5000 then i strongly feel that you should take a job and then you start preparing because you are not uh, you are not having a very good preparation till now so take a job start preparing for gate and maybe you need two or three attempts more and then only you will be able to get uh, able to crack the gate exam that's okay i mean you can go for mtech at the age of 25 26 that's not the not the uh, big deal but the problem is that if you don't take a job now and keep preparing for gate maybe in the next year also you will you will not be able to crack it 
then you will be in deep trouble so that's why if your rank is not at all good and if you have just graduated or if you are a final final year student first take a job and then start preparing for gate exam yeah so that's the message i want to give you all uh, who couldn't make it to top 500 or top 1000 in gate 2023 that this is not the end of the world this is not the end of everything you might be feeling very frustrated that's okay it's it's very natural that you are not happy you are not feeling good but you know you have to think now that what are the uh, you know possible options that you can take as i said that if you are trying it for quite some time it's the best time to quit it and try out your career in some other domain and if you are someone who has just attempted this for one time or two time maybe you can think of uh, giving the exam one more time in that case you know if your financial situation is not that good take a job and then prepare that will give you a financial backup and if you have a job you know you can think of giving the gate two three times more because you have a job in hand and uh, you can try it out and there are many people who go for mtech even in in the age of 26 27 i personally went for mtech at the age of 28 Uh, so that's not a big deal. Uh, you can do your masters uh, any time um, uh, after completing your B.Tech. And if you're just a final year student uh, who has a financial backup also from your family, then just drop drop for one year and pre- prepare for one more year and uh, appear for Gate 2023 and uh, 2024. And I hope you will be having a very good Gate rank next year uh, when you're appearing for the exam. So that's it guys that's it about this video i hope my message is clear to all of you uh, so i hope you will get some kind of positivity and encouragement from this video and that will you know help you to get overcome this situation first of all and take us take a decision uh, for your future plan uh, so if you have liked this video please like it and share this video to other people and if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever i will upload a video you will get instant notification That's it about this video. I'll be meeting in the next video. Until then, bye.